I'm a scientist and I found that when it comes to learning, games are more effective than books. So I make video games to help science learning easy and fun. I would like to talk about my latest game, Maxwell's Demons, which is a reference to a thought experiment designed by famous physicist James Clerk Maxwell. This experiment is supposed to go against the second laws of thermodynamics. Before getting any deeper, let's remember what the second law of thermodynamics is. The second law says that the entropy of a closed system tends to increase, or in simple terms, randomness of particles in a completely isolated container tends to increase. Here's an example. Imagine you're playing pool. At the beginning of the game, the balls are arranged inside a triangle. Now imagine you shake the pool table. Shaking will disperse the balls, and however long you keep shaking, the balls will never go back to their original state, unless you pick and carefully place the balls. This is one definition of the second law of thermodynamics. However, Maxwell suggests that in fact this definition is not necessarily true. In Maxwell's demons, we have two containers separated with a moving gate. The two containers have two types of particles, hot and cold, and they have initial speeds and do elastic collisions. The objective is to move the gate so that the cold particles are collected on the right side and the hot particles are on the other. Surely this sounds simple, right? However, entropy is always against us and the particles constant movement causes them to mix while the player tries to do the opposite. Now, can you beat the entropy? You can find a link to the game down below and please let us know what you think. And please subscribe to see more video games about science.